I don't know what you're dealing with. Oh. Oh. This ends here. I die on my own terms. Well now, Lady Throckmorton, or should I say, Maisie Morgan, ever since your wounds were healed near this very spot, you've accompanied us day and night without saying much. Now, what do you think of our situation? We have been lodging all winter in Cairns, and the search for our comrades come in vain. Then hope will be our ally all the more. Let hope come, your thoughts. Bastion and Sazana are dead by now, and we have searched every valley. We have found not a trace of them. Even Tyr and Veilgrim, while they operate in the mortal plane, cannot travel far easily in this cold any more than we can, and neither can they carry Bastion and Giovanni into the ethereal plane with them. They may not be necessarily dead, Maisie. Is that so? I, Copper Fox, many have traveled this world more than you. I might know something about Salzano and Bastion. I was in town the other day searching for our party when I came across Silas. He was with an Englishman. And he was trying to recruit uh, me for some information um, about the French princess's attackers. After we have let you have your weapons back, you have lied to us, you have withheld information, that Silas is wanted by the King of France. And now you tell me the English are involved? You know, death awaits him for kidnapping the princess. And you as well, because you kept him alive and didn't report it to us. They may have hired you and Silas. Do you have a death wish as well? Ladies, unfortunately, I cannot kill my former comrade. And no, we were not hired by the English. Silas is a good man. He fought loyally at my side in his right mind. He's not of his right mind. I believe Silas was the one responsible for your husband's deaths. If you, if you spare me of my transgressions against the throne, I will take you to him for your vengeance. Which may also lead to our finding Bastion and Giovanni. Why is it that I get the feeling that the same evil medallion of the Queen of Sorrows, which formerly affected Giovanni Salzano, has now affected Silas as well. Because Salzano and Silas may have shared the same fate many months ago. I did not realize it until Silas spoke to me the other day. They were the only survivors of a mission gone horribly wrong to recover the medallion for the king. Salzano thought he was alone. May God grant that we do find our missing friends. I want to be able to return Salzano's belongings to him. Yeah. 
How much you think we could get for a ransom? Oh, this feels like Rome. Come on, get back up. Finally, the mighty Salzone, though. How does he do against three? That's it. As much as I hate to admit it, he could probably wipe the floor. Oh, Duncan. Good to see you, too. Murderer. Fortunately, it looks like you boys have managed to deliver him to me, disarmed, exhausted, and beaten up. My thanks. This one looks like a lord. More coin. Oh. They're gonna make me do it, aren't they? All right, boys. Let's do this. Oh, oh, oh my short hands. Oh, 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 Far too small. Better luck next time. It's fantastic, little mug. You can hammer a tent peg in with this. All right, look, gentlemen. I can kill you now. Or I can hire you. I represent a very wealthy monarch from uh, across the pond, shall we say, who has an intimate interest in some of the uh, political machinations going on. But being that I am simply one man, having some higher help would be beneficial. Very interesting. Yes, finally gonna get paid. Yes. That's all I wanted. Excellent. Let's get him. In time, my friend, in time. First, we need to determine who it was that kidnapped the French princess. That information is absolutely vital to my sovereign. Once we have determined this, then you can help me kill Giovanni Sanzo. Are you in? Aye. Excellent, gentlemen. Let's be off. Madame Faith. Oh, hello, Copper Fox. How is your foraging going? Oh, plentiful. With months to go yet, before any nuts or fruits are available, we've gone a long time with no food except bread, fish, and game. And I certainly miss the cheese. You know, though, the Lord works in mysterious ways, and we have such a unique partnership. Now, you and Abriel and I can stand together in prayer, asking for God's protection against evils which are beyond our mortal strength. Come on, man, he's not far now. Ah, oh, yes, prayer is much needed, and especially for those of our friends that we have lost. We cannot find them. What has happened, sir? Run. They don't understand. What don't Run. they what don't they understand? Have everything.
I came upon this man on my way to town, and I helped him to safety. They may have been hunting for this fellow here, your former comrade, Greybeard. Oh, that's a powerful sorcery to be under the Queen of Sorrows. If you were salvageable, perhaps he is also. I, from the sounds of it, Copper Fox, it was mercenaries that were involved in this. Silas, he got caught up into this by accident, I'm sure. Giovanni? You're still alive? I know where those three men are. And I know why they're here. I heard from a reliable source that he's the one who killed our husbands. Are you sure you can depend on that Duke? I... He's never lied to me before. I just am not sure that we can trust it. I mean, I don't want to condemn an innocent man. Well, I agree. And the widow in me would like to kill this man, but I could to make sure that it isn't vengeance and that it is the will of God, and I need to make sure that... We get justice. We get justice. It has to be justice. For vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I don't... This... I need it to be justice. Help! Aubrey, help! That to them, all right. The three that had attacked me. It's time we get our answers. So, gentlemen, what news have you? There was a man, possessed by some kind of evil spirit. We chased him for a while. He was talking of knowledge of some French princess and a large amount of gold. He was dazed, like he'd been out there for weeks. One moment he was like any other man, afraid to fight us, ran for his life. The next he was rabid as if killing us was the only thing he had left. He was a man one moment, a lion the next. In his right mind, he talked about a man named Silas. Silas knew Giovanni. He rambled on about a French princess that had the Medallion of Secrets. But Giovanni needed to get the Medallion of Secrets in order to be trusted. But unbeknownst to his friends, Giovanni already had the Medallion of Secrets. Medallion of Secrets. For nigh unto a millennium, it has lain guarded and hidden. It seems no more, for this is not the first tale I've heard of it. This does not bode well for our world. Well, gentlemen. It appears that in order to learn more, and to get you paid, we're going to have to persuade Salzono and company to come to us. It seems that my hunch has paid off, along with that little overheard conversation between yourself and the barkeep in town. I would have thought that a spy would have known to be more careful with her tongue and would have known better than to travel alone through the wilderness of France. <sighs> There's dangerous men here after all. But I do suppose I owe you my thanks because without you, I wouldn't have Salzono's location. Nor would I have bait for my trap. <laughs> and as for you, my lady, I, I do deeply regret the necessity of my men here kidnapping you from that ragtag camp. Twas not but what I'm used to. 
The princess's guards abandoned me when they chased after Silas after all. I swear, I feel like a Frank at a money changer's table. I assure you, it is nothing personal. Unfortunately, though, your metaphor is uh, accurate. I intend to use your life as the uh, medium of transaction to get what my sovereign needs from that bastard Salzono. I offer you this chance. Return to Salzono. Bring him and his comrades here to me. Do this, and you go free, never to be bothered by me again. However, fail me and run away, <laughs> and the Almighty himself will not be able to save you from my vengeance or the vengeance of the Crown of England. No! Off of you, my lady! Go, go, go! With my blessing. 